Hello and welcome to this lesson where we are going to learn how to deal with rows and columns and resizing in the rows and columns uh, in Excel. So in this case I have a small company here that we've kind of made up. We have Frank, we have Josephine, Sally and Jennifer, we have their salary and we have their position here. Now the first thing that jumps out at me is that uh, these positions here, well, this is kind of a joke, worker B, right? But it, it spills out of column C. Executive president spills out of column C. Now this may not matter to you, but it surely does bug me. In our particular case, it may not matter, but if you want things to be nice, you need to go ahead and adjust the columns here. So if you go and hold your mouse between column C and D, it changes to this left and right pointer. I can drag across and I can make this guy uh, there uh, wide enough. Uh, notice also for the person column, it actually is Josephine, but it's kind of hidden here because we have some some contents in the adjacent cell. So clearly this column is too narrow as well, so I can go a little bit wider like that. The salary column seems to be okay, but I want to show you something. If you make your column too narrow, then the numbers are going to show up as pound signs. If you ever see pound signs in your worksheet, don't, don't stress out. Just grab it and bring it along. Okay, so what I want to do is is reset this back to its original position because I want to show you a couple of other things. So let me go and hit the undo button, which we've learned